Hello guys, welcome back to my Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel Let's Play. In the last episode we completed the Blue Gem Cup and this episode now we're going to go for the Green Gem Cup. Before we do that, let's go change character like we always do and I think we'll use... Yeah, let's use Amy. I had fun with her a couple of episodes back and I think I'll use her again. Okay, let's do this. Let's go do the Green Gem Cup. First track we're on is Rouge Tubes. We were on this track in the purple gem cup, that because this was Ripper Roo's main track. Because we were taking on all the bosses except Nitrous Oxide in the Grand Prix. I did really well with Amy a few episodes back and hopefully I'll do really well with Amy in this episode. Considering the episode I played with as Amy was actually a time trial. I was actually doing some time trials in the Glacier Park here and I actually did surprisingly well with her. Oh, just got blown up by a missile. Good start. Eh, it's only the beginning. We can do this. Considering the fact I actually managed to get two gold relics when I was doing the time trials thing, which is actually quite a good achievement for me. I, I need some wumper fruit. Yeah, nice. I'm going to take my little shortcut like I always do every time I play on this track. Now, have the CPU characters ever take this shortcut? Well, I've never seen them take it anyway. That's what makes the Rouge, Rouge, Rouge Tube track quite easy to get in first place. But online, there are, there are loads of other races that do take my little shortcuts, and it's so annoying. It's called smart. It's smart strategy, but yeah, it's unsurprising really that other people online use that shortcut. But yeah, yeah, it's not surprising really, because there are far better crash team racing players out there than me. Well, for, in first place, this is how Amy's supposed to do it. Considering how badly we bucked up in the first, from the first lap with that missile. Yeah, and Amy's already ahead of the pack. Exactly how it should be. Oh god, was that my TNT great? Come on, get it off. Oh, just about. I only just got that off. Let's put another TNT crate here. And, oh. oh. Okay, I'll still won this race. And that's how it's done. That's Rouge Tubes complete and Amy was miles ahead. Ooh, the Grand Prix are probably unlocked. I, I was playing online last night and I managed to unlock a few stuff while playing online. And I've got 33 points for that. That is it. Okay, let's go to the next race. Next track is Coco Park. Yeah, I don't like this track. This track is actually pretty short. It's only like a circle pretty much, so... I think I should be able to easily beat this track in under, well, two minutes. Yeah, I should be able to. One. Boom. Let's do this. Come on, Amy, let's do this. I really like playing Amy. She's my favourite girl character in this game, just because I do. So every time I race her, I always get good luck with her, especially when I play as her in adventure mode. I have played with her quite a bit online in the past, and I actually did quite well with her online as well. I don't play as Amy much online, I usually play as Crunch online a lot because Crunch is my, I like to play as Crunch a lot in this game. Yeah, but yeah, but I still use Amy quite a bit. Well, I still like to use Amy sometimes because she is actually quite... I still like using Amy so I always get good luck with her and yeah. If you want to know how lucky I am with Amy sometimes, all you have to do is watch episode 8 of this Let's Play and that was when I managed to um, get two gold relics in that episode in the Glacier Park area. I went numb now, all juiced up, and Amy is miles ahead again. Usually I don't play as Amy much, I usually play as Crunch a lot. I used to love playing as Crunch constantly in Crash Nitro Kart. Yeah, and that's why he's Crunch quite a bit, and he plays quite similar to when he did Nitro Kart. His stats are pretty much the same as they were in Crash Nitro Kart. Can I complete this race in under 1 minute 30 seconds, or maybe 2 I don't think I'll beat this in under 1 minute 30 seconds, it's not possible. Nah. But I'll definitely do this in under two minutes, easily. And the other race thing just started the third lap and I'm already halfway through the third lap. Gee, yeah, look how far ahead I am with the other races. This is on medium difficulty as well. If I was to play this on hard, I don't think I'll be winning right now. And that's how it's done. I think I've won every single Grand Prix race so far. I think I have, yeah. You know, I've won every single gem cup, obviously, because... 
32 points and let's go to the next race. Polar Pass. There's one particular shortcut I love taking in this track. Okay, let's do this. It's quite annoying when you're racing on tracks, there's quite a lot of seals you have to avoid. It reminds me of Dingo Canyon when you have to annoy, avoid those animals as well. That See ya. I avoid the seal, it said the seal went straight into Dingo Dial. Okay, I need to juice my cart up. Okay, we've got TNT crate. Yes, I'm now juiced up, now I've got a Nitro crate. Alright. Hopefully someone will go into that Nitro crate. Hopefully I don't go into it when I come out. No, oh, I just got hit by a seal. I really hate the seals in this game. They really can easily, they can easily hit you. And what about those animals on Dingo Canyon as well that go across the track? Oh, that, they're so annoying as well. They in particular are extremely annoying. Because every time I get, sometimes when I get hit by one, I sometimes fail to make a jump. I always fall off the track. It's so annoying every time I get hit by one. Let's jump. Yeah, that's my shortcut. I love that shortcut. No, 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 no. Maybe taking that shortcut wasn't such a good idea. I'm still in first place though, that's great. And Digo Dial's in second place, really? After he got hit by that seal at the start of the race. Alright then. So it's between me and Dingo Dial. All the other races are quite far behind. Hopefully I can get quite far in front of Dingo Dial as well. Get my TNT crate. Now I'm going to turn it into a Nitro crate. I'll put that right in front of the speed boost. Someone's bound to go into it. Oh, I only just avoided that seal. Yeah, Amy's was in. I just hit. Did I hit Dingo Dial with a bowling bomb? If that, if I did, that was a lucky shot. Put Nitro crate here. I've collected every single CTR token in the adventure mode now, but I've got two more relics left to get. Maybe I could use Amy to get those. Hmm. I don't know. Should I? I don't know. Oh no, I'm definitely not taking that shortcut. Damn it! See, I think you can realise why I hate seals in this game. I don't hate seals in real life, just in this game. They were quite annoying in Crash Bandicoot 2 as well. Yeah, I always find them quite annoying. Well, especially the penguins though in, in the snow levels in Crash Bandicoot 2. If I had to pick the most challenging Crash Bandicoot game, Crash Bandicoot 2 would easily be the most challenging one. I never did beat that game on the PS1 100%. Yeah, back in the day, but I did manage to beat it in the Insane Trilogy. Which is quite handy, because I was doing a Let's Play, and if I, did, if I failed to beat it 100% while well, Let's Playing it, that would have been such a nightmare. Because we would think it's safe to say Crash Bandicoot 2 is easily the most challenging Crash game in the trilogy. Most people say Crash Bandicoot 1, the original Crash Bandicoot 1, would be the most challenging, but I might, I'm probably going to disagree on that, because I actually found Crash Bandicoot 1 quite easy. Not too easy, but I used to know which levels you you could get the gem in and which levels you couldn't like first time around and yeah I, I kept all those levels in my head and I just made the shortcut yeah and I managed to beat Crash Bandicoot 1 quite easily because of that yeah so Crash Bandicoot 1 for me was actually quite an easy game I did manage to beat it 100% on the PS1 quite a few times and on my PSP Go and my um, PS3 as well I did manage to beat it quite a few times, and that is track 3 complete. So far me and Amy are making a great team like we did in episode 8. I get 59 points. I really don't get the point system in this game. Okay, let's go to the next race. Quartet's Castle is a large track. I like this track. It's a Cyrodiil City track, so of course I love it. We all know how much I love the Cyrodiil City area. All the tracks in the Cyrodiil City are, I think, easily my favourite tracks in the game. They, they're probably the lengthiest as well and provide the most challenge as well. They're not too challenging, don't get me wrong, but... There's just something about the Cyrodiil City tracks that... Yeah, really make them my favourite, just because of the way they're late designed. And yeah, they really... They're the last tracks in the game, so yeah, they're bound to be... They're quite, actually quite well, well made tracks well in my opinion. Oxide Station, Hot Air Skyway are actually quite lengthy tracks and yeah that's why I like them. Tiny Arena is quite lengthy as well but when I played the original version I never liked that track. Just because of the amount of mud there was and all the mud would slow down the races so easily. It made, the, it made that track so tedious for me. In the remaster, in this version of the game however it's not too bad. The mud doesn't slow down as much which is, not, which is great. 
Okay, mate, shortcut. Oh, unlucky. How's I felt to make a shortcut? I just got hit by a missile. What are you playing at, Amy? We're supposed to be a good team. Me and Amy always make a great team. How do we both muck that shortcut up? Oh, no, not another missile. Oh, leave me alone. I just avoided the missile. Nice. Okay, the bottom bomb, I should shoot it backwards. Hopefully it'll hit someone, which I don't think it does. Nah, I was, I was too far ahead of the other races. I like the music that plays on the, in the Cortex Castle as well. It's actually quite it's actually quite cool. I like the original as well, but I like the remaster as well. They're both pretty cool. Cool tracks to listen to. If I had to pick a game that had the best soundtrack, I think the Ratchet & Clank series would definitely be up there in terms of soundtrack. Ratchet and Clank games have a really good soundtrack. Jack X Combat Racing, that had an amazing soundtrack. The Jack and Daxter games, I wouldn't say, have the best soundtrack. Well, they do have good soundtracks, don't get me wrong, but overall, I don't know if I'd pick them as the games having the best soundtrack. I don't know. I do love some of the tracks that Jack and Daxter games have, but I don't know whether the class of Jack and Daxter series is having the best in soundtracks in, yeah, in terms of the whole franchise. Ratchet and Clank series have a great soundtrack. Yeah, Crash the Crash Bandicoot games had a good soundtrack as well. Jack and Daxter did as well, don't get me wrong, but... Of course, we all know Jack and Daxter is my favourite game series ever, and yeah, of course I love some of the tracks in that game. If I didn't love any of the tracks in that game, it would not be my favourite game series. So that just shows Jack and Daxter does have some good soundtracks in it. I think Sly Cooper has some good soundtracks. The, the Last of Us, that has a good soundtrack. The Uncharted games. I don't listen to our Uncharted soundtracks massively. I don't think I'm going to make that shortcut now. We'll, we'll try it. Nope. I didn't even jump. Come on, Amy. We're meant to be a good team. Well, me and Amy and Miles had the other races, so at least we won the race. Okay, let's, let's juice up my car. Nice. Let's avoid these spiders. Those are big spiders. I'll not be able to walk around the castle if I knew they were in the castle. I do not like spiders. And that is tra all tracks complete. I won all tracks. 36 points and Amy just blew herself up. What a way to end the, ra end the Grand Prix. Okay, Akuaku's Alley and we got 50 points for that. Alright. Okay, let's continue on and get our gem. There is my green gem and Amy won that in style. Well, sort of. And Amy loves to show off every time she wins. I wonder if she does boxing, I don't know. Okay, let's continue on. We now have the green gem, we've only got one gem left to get. We've got a new skin, green Papu Papu. He looks like he's about to throw up. Oh, that does not look like a nice skin. Papu Papu looks like he's about to throw up. We've only got one gem cup left to go. Then once we've done that, we've unlocked the last relic race in the game. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. We hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like on the videos. That really helps me out a lot. In the next episode, we're going to go and get the Red Gem Cup, which is the last Gem Cup in this game. Once we've got that, we'll unlock the last track in the game, and we'll get in the episode after, we'll get the Relics, and then the episode after that will be the finale, where we'll take on Nitrous Oxide in the rematch. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be fun. Okay, guys, thank you all so much for watching, of course. This is Goldie X, and I'm out. Like a butterfly.